Hey everyone, it's Ivan. So in my previous video on text color in ClickFunnels, I showed you how you can use text editor to color any words you want within your headline and pick as many different colors as you want. But problem with that was there was a limited variety of colors. In this video, I wanted to actually show you how you can pick any colors you want at all and have as many different colors as you want in your text using text editor, okay? So I'm just gonna go in, uh, click edit page. So they've installed two different uh, text or um, page editors now. So you can use the new one, the version two, or you can use the first one, the classic editor. So I'll show you how you do it in the new one. And then I'll go back and just show you kind of what the difference is in the, in the old editor if you decide to use it, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert text. I'm gonna insert text block. I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna click open text editor. And here I can write whatever I want. So I'm gonna say, for example, uh, standard item price, and I'll say $75, and I'll say it can be yours, oops, and by the way, if you don't want a line, you see here how when, when I click enter, if you, if you don't want a line between the, between your text, just click shift enter, and it's going to put something immediately right underneath, uh, that doesn't matter in this case, so I'm just going to write it here, and then I'll say it can be yours today for only uh, you know, $25, whatever. Okay. So let me just change the font size here. So one of the things I'll show also in a later video is how to change font size to anything you want uh, and how to create strike through. So you can actually create a strike through through this and say, can be yours today. Now, if you know some programming, you know, some coding, all you have to do is go in here and do your thing. Okay. I'm doing these videos for, for people that know no programming at all, like myself and just how to easily change it if that's the case. So first thing I'm going to do, let me just change this to make it a little bigger. I'll make it size 30. And now if I click update, that's what it looks like. Okay. Uh, now you can actually make this text editor version appear exactly the same as your headline, uh, just much more customizable. So I do recommend if you want some more options and some different fonts, like size hundred font, because the maximum font you have is 72. Okay. I would recommend using text editor, but let me show you how to change the color. So for those of you that don't know programming at all, first thing we're going to do, is we're going to select the words that you want colored. So for example, let's say I want four words to be colored here, okay? So I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna go to font color here. Not that one, that's the background color. Don't click on that. <laughs> all right, and I'll pick, pick any color. So pick any color you want, does not matter. Just make sure all, all the different colors you want eventually to turn out, you're gonna select the different colors here as well. So that one I'll make red. Can be I'll highlight this as well and make this orange I'll make I'll make this uh, $25 I'll make that uh, this brownish color okay now you may have to go back and kind of adjust the font again so basically here's what we have and here's the problem with last video I told you that these are the limited options you can have which is not the case so let me just show you how you can adjust it so now we've changed the colors that we want to be changed right so we've made let me just move this back to the original. I'll make this back to black. All right, so we've changed one, two, can be yours. No, I'm not sure why I changed. So just make sure you guys go back and uh, change the colors that you don't want to be colored uh, because for some reason it glitches out a little bit and it automatically colors a few, uh, a few colors that are not supposed to be colored, okay? So when I click here, I have one, two, three, four, just like I wanted, okay? So that's perfect, keep it like this. So now I'm gonna show you where to go so you can change the color for those words that you want colored. We're gonna go back to text editor. Now I'm going to use Photoshop to pick the color that I want. You can use whatever you want. And in fact, you may even be able to use uh, ClickFunnels as well. So if I go here, for example, and I go any, you know, any color, text color, I can select whatever color I want um, and then just pick that code. Okay, that code is what we need. So whatever software you wanna use, which has like color code in it, use it, whatever, uh, PowerPoint, click funnels, uh, Photoshop. I'm just going to use Photoshop. So I'm just going to click on this little thing here and I'm going to select the color I want. So let's go with uh, rainbow color. So let's go with Hueji bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code at the bottom here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to click on text editor. I'm going to go into this HTML. And now, as you can see here, it has these little color codes pointing to the word that's colored. So the color of this word standard item is actually this, whatever that code is, okay? And let me just, it colored item as well, which it wasn't supposed to, I don't think. So let me just make that black as well, just the standard. 
Okay, there you go. So now we have one, two, three, four colors that we want changed. Perfect. So notice here it points to standard and it gives the color. So what we can do, one thing we could do is we can just uh, input these. So two, five, five, zero, and one. So we can just input these values in here. So I can say two, five, five, zero, and one. Okay. And if I click update, notice how it changed the color. Now you would have to change the font as well. Uh, so we're going to have to change that back to the way it was. Let's see, which was 30. But basically, you just change the color to whatever you wanted. Okay, so that's awesome. So the other thing you could do is if you go to, again, the word that points to standard. So that's right here. What I could do is I can delete that. So suppose you don't have the exact uh codes for each different color base right suppose i only have this code now what you can do is you can just copy that code in so i can i'm going to put a number sign and i'm going to paste that code in and i'm going to update and there you go okay so that's done it for you so all you do is you repeat the same thing over for everything else so uh suppose i want you know again roy g bit so suppose i want orange i'm going to copy that or again you can copy these codes and just plug them in i'm going to open text editor I'm going to find where this color base corresponds to price. So because we said we want price to be colored, right? So go into this uh, HTML editor, um, find where it points to price here. So you can see here it points to price. So what you're going to do is you're going to take all that RGB with in, and then the code within brackets, you're going to delete it and then just going to put number sign and going to paste your code going to click update. There you go. It's done. Okay. So that's basically how you do it. Um, if you want to change any other colors, again, you can go, you know, Roy, or well, let's make it yellow. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to text editor. Oops. I'm going to find word points to the word that I want colored, which is yours in this case. So yours, I'm going to take that number sign and that boom update done okay so this is a way in which you can um make as many different colors as you want because in headline when you click headline you can only make two okay so sometimes we don't want that and you can change the font uh, family as well here so this is actually going to look pretty much exactly like that headline uh so if i go back to well here i'm at this where's where's i'm at this um, uh, so my alphabet maybe here. <laughs> All right. So this looks right about exactly, exactly the same. The only difference is you can actually add more colors. Okay. So that's pretty much it for that. Like promise. Let me just go back into the previous editor, edit the first one and just show you what the difference is. So with this one, everything's exactly the same. You click on open text editor. The only difference is make sure when you change something, you go back to this mode before you click update. So if I want to make this yellow, for example, I'm going to find, you know, I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to find where it points to the 25. Uh, so right here, you need to find that color code where it points to that. Put the number sign and that. And again, you could also input these values. So you can input, remember how it gave us in brackets? It gave us that. So you could also input, you know, RGB, you could say 255. Oops. You could say 246 and zero. Now, before I click update, so what? watch what happens if I click update. Nothing. It doesn't change. So what you have to do is you actually have to, well, now you need to change it again. <laughs> All right. So let's make it again, 255, 246. Now you need to go back to this mode first. Okay. So you need to go back here and then click update. Okay. So that's the only difference in version one. So that's about it. Um, in the next few videos, I'll show you how to change the font and how to, uh, create a strike through reason why I'm not doing everything all in one is because I want people to, when they look for something, they look for that particular item. They don't have to go through the whole, you know, 15, 20 minute video searching for whatever they want. So stay tuned. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.